Now, we are touching upon another giant, which made others think about its presence several times. It is China. Over the last several decades, China showed a rapid growth in almost every sector. And that booming Chinese economy allowed the nation to invest into modern technology. This technological revolution benefited the country in multiple ways, whereas the space sector was one of them. Just like India and the US, China has both private space startups and a government agency which presently has a much bigger share. But the introduction of privatization in space sector has opened the doors for tremendous potential in near future. So, what exactly are these Chinese space startups? Here, we will be talking about companies with satellite launch capabilities. And presently, there are in total three major players working on the same in China. First is Landspace. Landspace is a Chinese private aerospace enterprise engaged in research and development operations of launch vehicles. It is established in 2015 and they are focusing on small and medium scale commercial aerospace application market with their ZQ-1 and ZQ-2 launch systems. Their ZQ-1 is a 19 meter tall three-stage rocket with a total launch capacity of up to 200 kilograms, whereas ZQ-2 is a medium scale low cost 48.8 meter tall two stage rocket. They have already performed a successful launch of their ZQ 1 rocket back in October 2018. They completed all the production tests for their ZQ 2, and by 2022, they will be ready for multiple commercial launches. Second company, iSpace, not to be confused with Japanese aerospace company iSpace, is also known as Beijing Interstellar Glory Space Technology Cooperative Limited. It is established in 2016. iSpace became the first private space companies from China to launch the orbital satellites. In July 2019, they launched two satellites into their respective orbits with its 24 meter tall four stage Hyperbola 1 rocket. This rocket is also known as SQX 1, has the total capacity of up to 300 kilograms. Along with Hyperbola 1, they also have 28 meter tall two stage Hyperbola 2 rocket and a proposed suborbital concept aircraft for customer services. With the orbital launch success, they are preparing for reusable systems to further reduce their costs. Finally, there is a company called Galactic Energy, which has two rockets, Ceres 1 and Pallas 1. Both are named after the first and second asteroids discovered by humans. Ceres-1 is a three-stage rocket with a total payload capacity of up to 350 kilograms, whereas Pallas-1 is a two-stage rocket. They also have attempted their first ever successful launch of Ceres-1 in November 2020. And now, they are also working on reusability for cost reduction. This is all about companies with satellite launch capabilities. But there are other aerospace companies focusing on satellite manufacturing rather than launching. A company called Galaxy Space have started launching 5G internet satellites in lower Earth orbit, just like what SpaceX is doing with Starlink. Also, the company called Chang Guang Satellite specializes in providing satellite solutions. It's a bit difficult to include everything about private space industry from China in a single video, but this sort of gives you an idea of how the space startups are growing in the country. I hope this video added value to your knowledge. If so, please leave us a like, share it with your friends and family. And if you already liked it, then please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Follow us on our social media for more such exciting events in space. Links are given in the description. See you in the next one.